Hi, everyone. I appreciate your support. Thank you guys so much for liking and commenting and helping me get these videos out there, helping me get these messages out there. I really couldn't do it without you guys. You guys have been really helping me get back in the algorithm, and I really appreciate it. Um, let's get right into the reading. So whatever the cards want to say, please keep in mind that I do channel multiple energy groups on here. So some of these readings will be for you and some of them might not be. We've got sadness. What's the message for someone out there? Sadness, sex, seduction. That's a really interesting energy. Passion, romance. Courage, assertiveness, forward movement, fear of commitment. Okay, so what I feel like, I feel like somebody is heartbroken. There's someone that's heartbroken here. And they they don't want to be in this energy anymore. They don't want to be heartbroken. So there's a few different storylines here. This could be you. You could be heartbroken and missing someone. And you might have like a rebound relationship where, you know, you feel like you're just instantly in love with this person. You're just all about them. You completely forget about the person you were heartbroken over. But it's projection. It's like you're you're taking all your feelings for that other person and you're putting them on this new person, on this rebound. Um, but I, I feel like there's no, it, it's not real love. It's, it's a distraction for others. I feel like this could be, it's, it, it, there's, there's three different storylines here. So take it how it resonates for others. I feel like this could be your person and, you know, you feel like they're just moving on with this third party. They're just super in love, just all over this third party. But it's not real. It, it's like they're projecting all their feelings for you onto this third party and it's not going to go anywhere. For others, I feel like... For others, I feel like this could be a warning for you if someone's like coming in and love bombing you and it just seems too good to be true. Um, and this wouldn't be a good person. This wouldn't be like you would feel like something's off. This would be one of those situations where it's like this person just got divorced like two months ago or this person just got out of a long term relationship like one month ago. Like your intuition would be telling you, hey, this is a rebound situation. I need to watch my back. Um, and like you would feel that you would almost feel like this person was trying to it's, it's almost like so if this is like someone new that you're dating you're gonna feel like this person doesn't really know you and so when they love bomb you when they are just all about you you're not gonna understand it because you're gonna be like well wait a minute that doesn't make any sense or they're gonna say things about you that apply to the ex and not to you you know what I mean like um Oh, I admire how you care about children and maybe you don't even like children and you're like, what the, where did that come from? Or I admire your sense of humor and like you guys have never joked around together, at least not yet. It's still early on. So it's things like that. And I think you're going to know about the ex. So I just want to put that out there. Like if you're dating someone new and they're a genuinely good person and they're all about you, because that is happening for some of you. There are some of you where you're about to meet someone new. And they're going to be different than anyone from your past. And they are going to be all about you. There's going to be like a deep spiritual connection. Um, they're going to want to move fast. They're going to want to get to know you. Like you guys are going to feel like you've known each other your whole lives right off the bat. But that is a very different energy than this. So I want to make sure that you guys use your intuition, use discernment so you can tell the two apart. You know, be able to tell if someone's genuinely really into you and just moving kind of quickly because that might happen for some of you. But for this energy group, for what I'm feeling, this is more of the energy where it's like, you know that they were heartbroken over their ex or you know, you just know that something's off here. You know what I mean? Like, you know, like, like they don't know you very well. There's no soul recognition, no past life connection. Like you just feel like they're trying to make you into someone that you're not because they don't want to think about this person from from their past. Or it could even be like they chose someone else over you and that person dumped them and they're using you as a distraction. 
But again, you'll be able to tell. Like, you'll know that they're not really into you because they're not going to know anything about you. You know what I mean? Like, you're not going to feel like a soul connection with each other. It's just going to be like lust, like like a very 3D surface level connection where this person is just all over you, but you're like, mm, something feels weird here. So, so again, make sure that you use your intuition to tell the two apart. Um, take it how it resonates. Take it how it resonates because... Like I said, for some, it could be that this person's trying to get over you and you're seeing them move on with a third party just out of nowhere and they're acting like they're just in love with this third party. Like like you two were trying to work through things. You were trying to patch things up and get back together and then out of nowhere, they're with this third party. They're projecting. They're projecting what they feel onto this third party. There's a lot of, there's a lot of illusion here going on. Tell me more about this. Yeah, someone, so again, decide where you are in the story, whether you're the one that's being used as a distraction or whether they're using, you know, maybe it's your person that's using someone else as a distraction, but there's some kind of third party distraction here. It's not going to go well for someone though, because they're going to see, it's like they're idolizing this person now, they're, they're, Someone's trying to make someone into someone else. I hope that, that I, I read it that weird. Um, someone's trying to turn someone. Someone doesn't want to be alone. And so, and they don't want to be sad or heartbroken anymore. So they're trying to like make someone be their ideal partner and it's not going to go well. And they're going to see the red flags. They're going to see the incompatibilities there. Um, confusion, uncertainty. They might message you. I need to get tarot to, to get into this more because this is a very weird message. They might just message you out of nowhere because they're going to have that realization that there is no one like you. That they're going to realize that they're they're taking all their feelings for you, that they don't want to feel for you anymore, and they're, they're putting them on someone else, and it's not fair to that other person. <clears throat> and they're going to recognize that and go back to the person from their past that they really want to work things out with. Tell me more about this. Tell me about the death card in the tower. This is someone who gave up. This is someone who like ten of wands is like the straw that broke the camel's back. So if this was like a relationship that you guys were in, it was like too much. Like they just they love you, but it, it's like they felt like they. I'm hearing that song like I don't care if you're angry, cheating gets it faster. I think that's by Jimmy Eat World. I'm also hearing the song. Um, what is that song? I forgot that I'm. Uh, no one's calling for me at the door. The unpredictable won't bother anymore. Silently gets harder to ignore. I forgot that I might see so many beautiful things, I think is how it goes. But it's almost like this person, take again, there's a few different roles here. It's kind of a confusing reading, whether you're the rebound or whether you're the person that was left for a rebound um, or however, wherever you are in the story. But what I'm seeing here is that it's like this person was trying to work things out with someone, someone they were really committed to, possibly in a long-term relationship with, but I feel like they just felt hopeless. Why do they feel so hopeless about working this out? There could have been like a, like a trigger warning, um... 
a miscarriage or a pregnancy issue for someone here. I'm seeing that with the Empress and the Seven of Cups. Because the Empress can be a mother. Could also be a mother figure that got in the way of this connection. Sorry, my allergies are still acting up really bad. I feel like the Queen of Cups had a new perspective. She saw something in a different light. She saw something that was hidden. Tell me more about that. She saw that everything wasn't quite as good as it appeared to be. Let me see. She contemplated just being single or just being on her own. I feel like someone could have cheated here too, or he might feel like you cheated. I'm getting a really weird message for someone out there. Like this is for someone really specific, but I feel like someone specifically, like one or two people that are watching this, like she got pregnant and like he didn't believe that the baby was his or something like that. Or he felt like he felt like she cheated or he, he thought that she was doing something sneaky and she might not have been, but he assumed something. For others, I feel like this is telling me that he's trying to get your attention back, but in a very sneaky, manipulative way. Um, I, I feel like whoever this person is, though, I feel like something happened between you two, whether it was an argument, something he thought, maybe he was just tired of you guys not seeing eye to eye. I just feel like he kind of just gave up. He kind of just said, fuck it. I'm tired of this. I don't care how much I love this person. It's like he feels like he, he this man feels like he hasn't had justice. He's tired of waiting. Whatever it is, whether it's just like maybe you guys are both have, were both working on it together and you guys just weren't able to see eye to eye or maybe you needed space before you were ready for him or whatever it was. He got tired of waiting, so he made this impulsive decision. <clears throat> oh my gosh, my allergies. I'm sorry. I'm so stuffy right now. Sorry about that. <laughs> he made this impulsive decision. I'm seeing the tower as like impulsive energy where he's like burn it all to the ground like fuck everything I'm not waiting anymore I don't care anymore like he's just like he's just like pissed he's just like I'm done like he might have found something out <clears throat> maybe you had a secret from him that was exposed I don't know uh, we're gonna get more into it but it, it's like whoever this man is he's like fuck it we're burning it to the ground like I don't want to wait anymore I almost feel like he feels like you cheated for some or he feels like cheating is the way to get you back. Like he wants revenge or he wants your attention back. Tell me, I'm going to reshuffle these actually. This is a really interesting storyline. It's very, the pregnancy thing was very specific. Uh, like I know he's mad at you. I can feel anger. I don't know. Like for some of you, it might be justified. Honestly, for some of you, you may have cheated and he found out and you don't know that he knows but for others, I feel like it's not justified. For for others, I feel like it's just like he's just getting impatient or maybe he heard like a rumor or something. I don't know. It's, it's like he's just like in this burn it to the ground energy. Like it could honestly even be him doing it to himself. Maybe he's like sad and depressed over you and he's too prideful to reach out first. So he's just been in this kind of dark room the past few months just missing you and longing for you and waiting for you and hoping that you'll reach out to him and just pulling on your energy and it's like I feel like he has these conversations with you in his head um where it's like maybe he like daydreams about you it's, it's like he thinks about you so much that he feels um and that's if you're not the rebound if you're the other person in that other storyline where where you were the one that he was wanting to be with or work through, through work things through and then all of a sudden he got with someone else that would that would be you know so take it out how if it resonates but um it's almost like he has these conversations with you in his head to such an extent that he's like introverted and like isolated and like not around a lot of people right now and he has these or if he is around people he doesn't like feel close to them you know but it's like he has these conversations with you in his head to such an extent that he like 
assumes that you just automatically know how he feels about you. But I feel like he hasn't really done like if if for some of you, he hasn't really done much in the physical world. But he's getting annoyed because he's trying to trigger you or trying to make you jealous or trying to get you to reach out first and you're not reaching out first. And he's tired of, of feeling sad over it, but it's his own fault. So he's just like, well, screw everything. I'm just going to go for this third party. It's, it's like he's going to meet someone and he's going to try to force that person to be you. He's he's going to meet someone and he's and this person, this third party is going to see through it and they're not going to like it because it's going to be obvious. Like it's going to be one of those things where it's like they go on dates and he's just constantly talking about you constantly like my ex used to do this and this and this she had this little quirk that quirk that I loved uh would you consider doing the same thing and this third party is gonna be like are you serious like really um or it, it's like he's just gonna bring you up like he's not gonna be able to stop talking about you and this third party is gonna recognize it and be like this is really weird and it might be talking shit. It might even be one of those things where it's like he's constantly being like, my ex did this and this and this to me. And, you know, it's like where he just lays it all out there. But but then this third party is going to be like, well, OK, why are you so obsessed with your ex? Like this is our second or third date. We're out to dinner at a nice restaurant and and you want to tell me all about your ex like you just want to go and everyone has damage and trauma and I think that should be talked about that's that's normal but it's going to be to the point where this third party is going to be like like obviously you're not over your ex like obviously you're still stuck on this um like, and again, you could be the third party. You could be the third party that like, you need to, you know, you need to be aware that this person is still in love with someone else. For others of you, you're the person that this man is in love with and he's going to this third party and putting, you know, projecting all his feelings for, for you onto her because he doesn't want to feel that way about you anymore. So he's, he's using her, he's trying to force her to be you, you know, but he can't, he can't get his, get your name out of his mouth. He's going to keep talking about you and talking about you, even if it's in a negative light, even if he's presenting it to her, like, you know, my ex cheated and she did this and this and this, um, the third party is going to recognize like, okay, but you're obsessed with her. Like, why are you so fixated on her? Um, or on like a more positive note, it's, it's like, he's going to be like, he's going to talk about little things that you did that he really liked, um, He's going to try to force her to be you and she's going to have her own personality. She's actually nothing like you. Not that she's necessarily a bad person, but she's just like the opposite of you or she has very different personality traits. And so he's going to try to force her like maybe you're really funny, for example, and like this woman's not like like not that she's not funny but she has like a very different sense of humor or she doesn't like the same kind of jokes that he likes or whatever or something like that you know there's going to be little things like that and he's going to try to force her to be you he's going to try to force her to you know basically take on those characteristics that you have almost like a little doll or something like he's going to want her to dress like you he's going to want her to talk like you do he's going to want her to to you know be the, the the second best thing to you he's he's gonna and he's gonna I feel like he's gonna be almost like I don't really get a great energy from this man honestly I feel like he's very immature he's very childish this could be like a mommy's boy or something honestly or like a a mommy's girl I don't I don't know it, like male or female I just don't get a, a good energy from this person it's like and this could be two men and two women. Just take it as it resonates. There's there's no specific gender here. Um, it applies to, you know, whoever it applies to. But um, I don't know. I just get this energy of like, well, well, mommy used to cut my sandwiches a certain way. So whoever I marry needs to cut my sandwiches that way too. Like just the very childish, icky energy. Because I'm almost seeing him get angry that she has her own personality. Like he's almost like he's going to tell a joke and you would have found that joke funny, like because you guys have the same type of sense of humor. She's not going to find it funny. But instead of him being mature enough to be like, oh, well, she just doesn't, you know, like we just have a different sense of humor. That's OK. He's going to like try to force her to find it funny. He's like, what do you mean that's not funny to you? Like, it's a funny joke. Like, what's wrong with you? Like, he's going to be like in her face about it. 
Like, he's going to be, like, on a mission to force her to be you to the point where he's actually going to almost be mean to her, where he's going to get frustrated with her because she's going to show her own personality traits and he's going to be like, no, like, this doesn't fit in with this illusion that I have of, of, you know, you being the woman I want you to be. So the third party is not the enemy here, honestly. The third party is going to... I feel like both of you almost, you guys might end up being friends and being like, oh, we both dodged a bullet there. Like, I, I don't, the third party in this, if this is your storyline, I don't think the third party is the enemy. I honestly think she's just getting to know this new man and she's going to realize that she doesn't want to get to know this new man. Like, something's going to break that illusion, I think. You know, it's it's not... They're going to realize that they're not compatible. He's He's going to try to... He's going to try to be in that, like, fantasy land and, and keep trying to tell himself that, like, keep projecting his feelings for, for you onto her. But at some point, it's like she's going to come forward with her own personality to such a degree that he's just, he's, the illusion's going to be broken. Like, there's no, it's like the past, past the point of no return. Like, there's no going back at that point. He's going to be like, okay, wow, she's really, he like, he's going to give up. He may even just be using this woman to try to make you jealous, but while he's using her to make you jealous, he's at the same time also going to be, like, trying to distract himself from how he feels about you. Uh, this this man is so childish, though. I don't know if you want this. This is like a... Oh, this is an icky energy. This is a gross energy. Let me, let me get more into it really quick here, but I don't think you're going to want this shit. <laughs> I keep hearing that Jimmy Eat World song like that, like, I'm going out, I don't care if you're angry, I found that cheating gets it faster. Ooh. Ooh, I hate giving these readings because I'm like, I know this is like not the best, but it is what it is. Someone needs to hear it. Especially if you're the third party that's, it's, it's almost even worse if you're the third party that's just being used and you're like, why is this psycho like love bombing me and then trying to force me to be someone I'm not like what the fuck is going on here like how does this person actually feel this is it this is this is how they feel this is what's going on um always use discernment like I know it's hard when you're lonely but you still have to like really you know use your intuition with new people I feel like you were very powerful. You were very, you're a lot better than this person, honestly. And I feel like they tried to hide their immaturity from you, but I feel like they're just too, it's almost like they're competitive with you or they're like, it's like a child. Like this man is a child. I don't know who this man is, but ew. Like they see, they see that you're the empress. They see that you're the high priestess and they're almost like, it's like competitive with you. And this could be either way. If you're this person's ex and they're like in love with you and they're trying to force this person to be this way, but it could also be the same if like, you know, if you're this third party where it's like you're powerful, you're, you know, you're of high ranking and maybe, maybe the person that they're in love with is actually not even as powerful as you are. And so they're getting annoyed. I almost see like a little boy like getting mad at his mommy. Like he's getting mad about your power. He's getting mad about someone's presence, someone's energy, like... Maybe this this other person that he's in love with, maybe if like if you're the third party, maybe this other person that he's in love with is like more toxic or more immature and like she babied him, like she like mothered him and she like allowed him to get away with shit and you have a sense of confidence and he's like almost like disgusted that you're like standing up for yourself or he's... um 
It almost like reminds me of those like, you know, like you ever see like those social media posts where it's like like first date horror stories. It's almost like that kind of energy where you go on a date with someone and you're like, oh, my God, the audacity. Like, are you kidding me? Are you really that childish? Like you're taking me to dinner and you're going to be on your phone for like 20 minutes straight. Like, are you fucking kidding me? Like, I get that kind of energy from this man. Like, um, like someone has confidence, whoever it is here, there's a woman here. Uh, it doesn't have to be a woman, could be a man, but whoever, someone here has, you know, confidence. Someone here has power, spiritual ranking power. Um, this man doesn't, he doesn't like it. He doesn't. He, he sees this person that's confident. He sees it as he's too immature to realize how powerful she is and to appreciate her power and appreciate her worth, appreciate her high ranking. So he's going to tell himself that she's dramatic or she's high maintenance, something like that. I almost, I keep feeling like, like first date horror stories. It's almost like maybe you've already gone on a date with this person, like to a restaurant and you're just like on the fence about giving it another chance because it's like this person just like blabbed on and on and on about his ex and he was really selfish. He was really like, you could sense that he has like major mommy issues where he like just, he doesn't give a shit about other people, but himself. It's like a weird energy. Like someone's going to run from this. I don't, ugh i feel like you're gonna have the last word someone's gonna have like th this man has some t he's a very young soul <coughs> I feel like he has some tough karmic lessons to learn. So this might even be someone you only go on a couple dates with. This feels like a different energy group. I don't feel like I've channeled this person before. Like, I don't feel like I've channeled this man before. Honestly, this feels like a new, this feels like a, like a completely different energy group than what I've been getting the past couple weeks. Like this is somebody else. I don't know who this is. I have no idea who this man is. It's, it's a very different, very new energy that I just picked up. But, um... This is the kind of man that, like, takes you to dinner and then he's, like, he, like, brags about how much money he has or how he's, like, so successful and he's got all these amazing things. But he, like, you know, like, I don't know, like, he's going to, like, say he forgot his wallet in the car and you have to pay for dinner. And he's going to be, like, oh, I have, like, like, I'm a millionaire. I'll pay you right back. And he just doesn't pay you back. It's, like, that kind of energy where he's going to it's just a weird energy I get from this guy. It's kind of icky. But I think you're going to teach him a karmic lesson. Someone's going to teach him a karmic lesson. Someone's going to have the last laugh. Someone's going to have victory and walk away from this man. And this could even be like, if you're, if you're the ex that like you had a relationship with this man and you tried to help him grow up, like you really saw the good in him, you loved him. And you just eventually had to let it go. And then now he's all pouty and he's missing you, but he is not making any moves towards you. This could just be letting you know what's going on with him, like karmically. Like like he came across a third party who did not baby him the way that you did. Did not mother him the way that you did. She didn't see the good in him the way that you saw the good in him. Um... The shit that he got away with with you, he couldn't get away with it with her. So they went on a couple dates or so, and she's like, you're a fucking child. Has anyone ever told you that? Like, you are ridiculous. You're selfish. Like, all the things that you kind of told him in a nice way, like, she's going to just be in his face and be like, you are a child. You are incredibly immature. You are all about yourself. You are not a good man. Like, you need to work on yourself. Like, she's going to call him out so bad. She's going to have victory. And it's almost like this ex is going it, to, it's like a, like he's getting his karma. This man is getting his karma for the way he's treated people. And you're going to have someone else, some, whoever he, who, someone else, like, if you're this woman, I feel like you have someone else coming in, someone new coming in that you're actually going to have a ton of cups with. Four of Wands, peace, happiness. You guys are going to work together. You're not going to have to mother him. You're not going to have to baby him. Change his fucking shoes for him. No, you're not going to have to do any of that. Like, he's... 
he's going to be an actual man. Like he's going to be on, he's not a child. He's going to be on your level. You're going to be able to have that success together. You're going to be able to build together. You're both very powerful manifestors together. Like maybe even a power couple. Why the three of wands or why the three of swords? Oh, there is going to be some hearts broken over you because you're going to be the queen of wands. There's going to be some competition. Oh, yeah. Five of wands. And then we got the five of swords, too. Shit. <laughs> the devil. Ooh. Yeah. <laughs> you're going to. Um, someone's someone here is going to come into their power. Very someone's going to come into a period of their life where they're very seductive, very charming very passionate like you're going to be breaking some hearts i think because there's going to be competition for you there's going to be this childish man that's going to want to cling back to your energy um there's going to be this new man who actually is going to be good for you someone who is actually mature enough even if they don't have their shit together they're going to be mature enough to work on themselves and to work on things with you to communicate openly um but there's going to be some competition for you coming in. Could be someone from your past that's worked on themselves for a long, long time, too. Um, coming back with, like, an offer of loyalty, stability. Possibly someone you haven't even talked to in years that's just like, hey, I've balanced things out. Like, maybe someone from your childhood or from a past life that's like, hey, I've been working on myself for a long time, and I, I want to present this offer to you. They want to find that balance and that peace and that healing um, in this relationship, maybe even offering you an apology, but I feel like you're going to have a lot of like love options out of nowhere that you're just not even expecting. So you know, I don't know my camera's doing that. Sorry. I don't know why it's all blurry, but, um, hold on. There we go. Okay. Anyway, I hope this resonates with you guys. And like I said, if this does resonate, please like the video, share, subscribe, comment. Like it really helps me get back in the algorithm you know, all your support. I'm noticing like the past week, my videos are getting out there more. I'm getting more views. And that's because of you guys. That's because of, you know, you guys commenting on the videos. It's like YouTube sees that and it suggests the videos to more people. So I really appreciate the support on my channel. Thank you guys for watching.